Newt Gingrich made a slip-up that reveals Ted Cruz's involvement in the Melania Trump ad he denied knowing anything about. To explain this, let's start with super PACs, which are political action committees that raise money from corporations, unions and individuals to support parties or candidates. Super PACs can be large or small. Ted Cruz has a few super PACs. One is run by Liz Meyer, a young British American libertarian who also runs the anti-Trump super PAC called Trump Card LLC, which is, quote, dedicated to blocking and reversing Donald Trump's political ascent. Liz Meyer lives in Washington, D.C. and is a dual U.S.-U.K. national. She is a typical feminist libertarian rabble-rouser and, in my opinion, despite her labels, shares a lot in common with lefties. She clashed with Ann Coulter about Trump in a January 2016 interview. Here are some excerpts. Ann Coulter, as well as Republican strategist Liz Mayer, who runs the anti-Trump super PAC, Trump Card LLC. I was just quoting to you, uh, Liz, during the break, that uh, Richard Nixon once said, whenever you hear of a Stop X movement, bet on X. Aren't you leading an X Stop X movement? I am, and I aim to prove Richard Nixon wrong about that, in addition to many other things. I do have a problem with Trump and where he stands on an array of economic and fiscal conservative issues and the fact that he is very close to Hillary Clinton on those, in some cases actually okay. to the left of hers. Okay, let me go to Ann. How do you review that thought, that set of thoughts? Well, I think it's all about immigration. Um, it doesn't really matter what a, what a Republican's position is on um, you know, saving Social Security or, or how they're going to reform Medicare. Americans are being outvoted by foreigners and Americans have been begging um, their own party to shut it down, to stop this endless immigration for, for decades now. The, both the media and, and elected Republicans and Democrats have tried to push amnesty through three times in the last decade. Every time it was shut down, not by a presidential candidate, not by some big, um, you know, media figure. It was the American people getting wind of it and rising up in rage. Donald Trump is the first one to finally take America's side on immigration. That is why he is sweeping the polls. Well, I think that that's a patently ludicrous notion. I mean, most of the time when we've been looking at amnesty fights, supposedly, they've actually been shut down by a set of groups that are funded by a population control enthusiast, Liberal, who was actually involved with zero population growth in the Sierra Club. That's who's actually shut it down. It's not actually in any way advancing the economic interests of the American people. You want to respond to that, Ann? Because <laughs> I think you're right in this. I'll give you a broader dose of it. I think a couple of things. I think Trump is appealing to nationalism. Sure, a he's sense appealing. Of, no, a sense that the country has been sold out by the elite on immigration, on jobs. And on these yes. wars, we shouldn't be fighting. I, I don't disagree with that, but to say that it's just about immigration or even primarily but that's about how he immigration got in the door. is bogus. Why did he come in that door if it didn't work? He came right in the door on immigration. Not that was the issue that, he gave his ticket. If I could anyway, say, you go on, because that was and, his opening, look, his announcement speech, announcing he was running for president, was about Mexican rapists and drug dealers. His very first policy paper, for this guy who allegedly isn't giving us details, was an immigration policy paper. When he was talking at that values... Um, voters summit and he said something untoward about Marco Rubio the crowd starts to grumble and turn against him how does he attack Rubio he instantly goes to immigration every day he is giving speeches before thousands tens of thousands sometimes of Americans regular ordinary Americans he knows what gets them on their feet he is what's getting him the standing ovation and over and over again it is immigration to try to say it's some guy I've never heard of and they're the only people who oppose immigration no immigration was shut down or amnesties three times now when the American people rose up and okay. shut down the congressional yeah, that's, switchboard that's, that's patently false it, it was driven by <laughs> Numbers USA which is a John Tanton funded group you can google it and read about it in the New York Times they have a great okay. story about it the tweet deals with what happened in 2007 let's talk about today and this weekend what do you make about the fact that he's talking about it Another guy who came in the country, age of four or whatever, 
Ted Cruz, Rafael Cruz. The sure. guy came in the country from Canada, uh, and now Larry Tribe, one of the top, uh, maybe the top a liberal constitutional lawyer, says it's a big open question whether he should be allowed to run for president because he may not be naturally natural born American. That's completely bogus. And like Tribe's bogus? Yeah, he's bogus. Why if would you... he be bogus on this one? He's been respected up till now by the liberals, certainly. Well, liberals have a vested interest in trying to kick the crap out of Ted Cruz. They hate him and everything he stands for, the same as Donald Trump, who, by the way, is another liberal. He just happens to have an issue with Mexicans. I mean, How about Terry Branstad, the governor of Ohio? Again, he has what? a vested interest. These guys do not like him. Yeah, the Republican establishment hates Ted okay. Cruz. That's hardly news. Where are you on this, Ann? Where are you on the issue of his uh, eligibility to run for president? This thing about natural born, it doesn't say native born, but it says natural born. But then you have to ask, what did... It's clear she has an intense hatred of Trump and no idea how conservative he obviously is. Delving further into Liz Mier, I found that she was paid $15,000 a month by Ilham Aliyev, the dictator of Azerbaijan. According to documents filed in accordance with the Foreign Registration Act, it is unclear if the payments to Mier have stopped. Here's that document. Here's part of the letter that shows Mier receiving $15,000 a month from a dictatorship that jails journalists. As revealed first by Matthew Boyle of Breitbart News, Mier is pro-amnesty and has a track record of making lots of money and losing lots of elections. Being a libertarian, she is all for making illegal immigrants legal and letting them stay, and is against a war. Mier worked for Carly Fiorina's failed U.S. Senate campaign in 2010, for Tim Pawlenty's failed presidential campaign in 2012, and for Scott Walker's failed 2016 presidential bid. Now she's trying to get Cruz elected. On Tuesday 22nd of March 2016, Liz Mier ran an ad on her Ted Cruz Super PAC Facebook page showing Melania Trump from a GQ photo shoot. The ad read, Meet Melania Trump, your next First Lady. Or you could support Ted Cruz on Tuesday. Donald Trump believed that Mitt Romney was behind the ad and that Ted had agreed to use it. Most Trump supporters believe the same. If Ted did give permission, it was a childish, immature attack. Had Trump responded the usual way and simply mouthed predictable replies, like, My wife is a great woman and I find this very childish, the attacks would probably have continued. His wife would probably have been portrayed in many more such ads over the next few weeks, not to mention copycat ads. Only by fighting fire with fire could Trump douse this troll attack. So he responded by tweeting, Lying Ted Cruz just used a picture of Melania from a GQ shoot in his ad. Be careful, lying Ted, or I'll spill the beans on your wife. When Ted denied having organized the ad, Trump tweeted, Lion Ted Cruz denied that he had anything to do with the GQ model photo post of Melania. That's why we call him Lion Ted. Ted denied having anything to do with the advertisement and denounced Trump for bringing his wife Heidi into the fray. Trump received a tweet that featured photos of Heidi Cruz and Melania with the caption, no need to spill the beans, the images are worth a thousand words. It showed a drab looking Heidi and a gorgeous looking Melania. Trump retweeted it, which caused an uproar with the politically correct media and anti-Trump crowd. Ever since then, Ted has been whining like a stuck pig. The media promote the idea that it was all Trump's fault. Many Republican figureheads say the same. Newt Gingrich enjoyed berating Trump over this matter, but made a Freudian slip. See if you can catch it. Donald Trump had a very easy answer to that truly stupid 
uh, Super PAC I think, ad. I, I think it was actually a, a Facebook ad yeah. uh, that was sent out. The answer was simple. Melania was a supermodel on a professional uh, shoot for a very famous magazine. He's very proud of her, and she'll be a very beautiful first lady. Now, if you just said that and moved on, then the Cruz campaign would have looked stupid. The issue would have been over. He would have seemed or disciplined and, and pleasant and a gentleman. And instead, he gets down into, into this, this, this mud. Once again, he said... Now, if you just said that and moved on, then the Cruz campaign would have looked stupid. Then the Cruz campaign would have looked stupid. Newt, if Ted Cruz had nothing to do with the advertisement, how would his campaign have looked stupid depending on how Trump reacted to it? This Freudian slip makes it clear that Newt believes Ted Cruz was behind the advertisement. I think it's clear that anti-Trump Republicans know very well that Cruz was behind the photo affair and are milking this for all it's worth. No doubt Democrats will continue to use this later if Trump becomes POTUS. Thanks a lot, Ted, Newt, and all the other anti-Trump Republicans. You've made the battle to defeat Democrats even more difficult. If you agree or disagree, please say why in the comments below. Well, that's my two cents worth. Talk to you again soon.